and the hole for it was quite big and it's filled in with football sized stones and clay. You see there's some hornblende of it again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a hollow. Have I got it? Yes. A hollow where possibly another one has fallen out or it's a deliberate carved hollow. So this stone went up first and then the circle around it. Now the stones are all different heights aren't they? It's not well organised like at Stonehenge, so it couldn't have had lintels running around the top. And the spaces vary wildly from ones that are close together there to much bigger spaces. broken by someone waiting for the ferry. Uh -huh. I hope you're all behaved. It's, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's been drilled and rotted and holded. But when the excavation was on in the 80s, I went down and it isn't in a standard packing hole, uh, a socket hole with packing stones and all that. It's set in concrete. Hmm. Now prehistoric man didn't go in much for concrete. <laughs> so it's not in its original place. Can you tell me where it was, please? And then on the next stone, there's an overhang. Yeah. They're both perfectly natural. Now, head out that way, and later on, as you can wow. see. This guy drew it with a pointy top, mm. and this guy drew it with a flat top. Mm. Yeah. But what's suspicious about how it had a pointy top and lost some height? So I got hold of a small step ladder. So he went up there and said, Oh, yes, it's sharp on top. I think it is broken. I was just gazing around and I said, Hey, I've got the missing top. And it was here. <laughs> <laughs> Rubbish woman, you can't have it, it's been off too long. <laughs> Brought it back to him. So I passed it up and it fitted. <laughs> so it's been officially glued back on. Now. <laughs> actually a tiny pile of stones on the skyline, you know that in a fortnight's time you're going to see the moon in the circle.